Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. There's nothing I like more on a Saturday night than to sit down with a film, a whiskey and a pizza I've made myself. The trouble is, pizzas don't fit on ordinary plates because they sink in the middle. So I end up eating it off an ingrained chopping board, which is a bit big and heavy. So I thought it was about time I made myself a special pizza serving board. I picked a couple of contrasting woods and then I conjoined a couple of faces and then ripped some strips down. I'm using a couple of bits of old beam. Some is oak and the other bit is pine. Softwood's not really the best to use as a serving board, but I was just using what I had, and if I like it, I might go back and make one out of hardwoods. It's a very simple project, and most of the time it's actually taken up preparing the wood. It can be made up of boards of different widths. I think aesthetically the different widths look better, but they also help get the platter to the final size. Finally, with everything in cut, I can arrange how I want the board to go. I've got one piece of oak longer in the center, so this can act as a handle. I use my pizza stone to test for size and then I can laminate all the boards together. I'm using waterproof glue here as it isn't going to need to go in a washing up bowl. With all the bits put together I get a few clamps on and I'll leave it overnight to make sure it's properly dry. When it was all dry I could use my pizza stone again as a template. The trick of placing a pencil in the washer to draw around it. I could then use the bandsaw to cut it out. With the circle cut out, I could then start work on the handle. I didn't really come up with an idea of how I wanted it to look, so I kind of just freehanded it. I used the hand plane to give the board a good clean up. My new bench dog's coming in really handy here. And I tidied up the cut marks with the sander. I could then use my really high tech router table to put a round over on the edge. I wanted to be able to hang it on the wall, so I drilled a hole through the end of the handle and then countersunk both sides just so it looked nice, and then I gave it all a final sand down. I had some chopping board oil left from a previous project, so I gave it three coats of this to seal it. That's it all done. Now I just need to pick a good film and pour a scotch. Recommendations for either are always welcome. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe for more videos.